Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and of course, this is the moment somebody has decided to mow the lawn as soon as I sit down. It's like in Toronto. Every time I try and film in Toronto, uh, of course, the sirens start right there and then. Okay, it's kind of fine now. I have a huge bag of empties. Now, I filmed a get ready with me for this makeup look and kind of took you guys through my everyday makeup and like all of the products I reach for like quite consistently. So it's kind of like a favorites and a and a picks and stuff. Um, so this is going to be, as I'm like holding up a product, this is going to be all of my empties of skincare and all of that sort of stuff um, and hair care. So you guys have reviews of things before the Sephora sale starts. So we're gonna get into it. Um, there are gonna be some things that are obviously like, you know, close to empty because I want to include them just for posterity. And there's things that are going to be, um, there are things that are going to be very empty, you know, you know the vibe. Anyways, okay, let's jump into it. I'm gonna start with three almost empty products. Um, and they all happen to be sunscreen based products and they are all very different, but kind of the same. But anyways, um, the first is gonna be no surprise. This is the Waso Shiseido uh, Tinted. Okay, this is the Waso Shiseido Tinted um, Moisturizer with SPF 30. It's a color changer, so it goes on white and then it goes to your skin tone. I do really like this product. It is a great kind of like all in one step. Um, I have transitioned to using the Summer Friday. Um, these are the shade drops and like the Summer Friday tinted. Ooh. And the Summer Friday sheer skin tint. So I've been using kind of these two as a combo. I have a lot in here because I use this quite liberally every day. And then this is only when I'm wearing makeup or need to like even out my skin tone. But this is almost done and I have a second one. This would actually be done, but I took a brand new one to Greece or else this one would for sure have been finished. But I'm keeping it upside down to keep the product draining into the spout. I love this product for like day-to-day -day wear now in Greece I could have definitely used something with a little bit of a higher SPF I do have a product that has higher SPF the um super goop glow screen like the I'm sorry the super group the sh like the clear one um and that one is also it, it's not almost as close in as this one so I'm not going to include it um that one I feel like the texture doesn't sit as nicely underneath the makeup. However, I should have brought that one with me for the reapplication throughout beach days and boat days and stuff. Cause I feel like this, even though I really love it, this sits really well under makeup, but the other one definitely lingers on the skin better for those like high activity in and out of water sort of days. I could have also just gotten like a active, sunscreen if I want to but I, I have so many sunscreens I just wanted to use them up the third sunscreen well technically fourth because the unseen one is almost done as well but I just don't have it with me here um the next one is come on fourth sunscreen is the super goop glow screen this one is also almost done I think I'm like down here to the bottom it's not going to be done by the time of the sale so I'm not going to get it I already have a full backup as well so I'm not, I'm not gonna purchase another one, but I do really like this and I wear it on days where I want to wear makeup, um, but I wanna like sunscreen, glowy, all of that in kind of one step. So like quick days, days where I don't have like a ton of time and all of that, it kind of takes the place of my shade drops and my flawless filter all in one. But one thing I find with super goop sunscreens are they are a little bit, oilier for lack of a better word so they do make my makeup kind of get a little bit oilier faster it's not a huge problem but it is something that like i 
don't know, I kind of noticed because like texture for me on my face is a big thing. So especially with sunscreens, that's why I like the shade drops, even though they're not super high SPF, I like the texture of them so much more than I like the texture of other sunscreens. So I kind of am like, it's a trade-off. So yeah. Okay. This is going to be a no order, by the way. It's just going to be in the order of like from top to bottom. Um, the next thing is the Saint Tropez. This is the gradual everyday lotion. Um, I just stopped self tanning a while ago. I hate how it like transfers on everything. It makes all my clothes discolor way faster. I hate how it smells, unfortunately, and I hate how it makes my skin feel. And while this is a decent product, self tanning is really just not for me. So I will not repurchase it. It's kind of expensive too, but it does give a better color I find than the Jergens one from when I used both um, back in the day. So if you do want a gradual self tanner, it's pretty nice. However, for me, self tanning is not really my thing. I just embrace my natural pastiness as it comes and I embrace the natural melanin that comes out when I spend more time in the sun. That's my vibe right now. I'm gonna regret this when my tan goes away, but I just, I cannot deal with this tan maintenance, it's not for me. Okay, the next thing is this mini um, Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I really like this stuff. Um, I bought a full size already. Um, so I'm not gonna be adding it to my cart during the sale, but this stuff is really nice for if you do a lot of like blowouts, if you have kind of naturally frizzy hair. I don't. I use it because it has a silicone in it, which makes my hair like a little bit less frizzy when I blow, like it's less frizzy when I like blow dry it and air wrap it and stuff. So it does kind of help and it also helps me have my hair hold the style because my hair is a little bit prone like my hair I just air wrapped this and if you guys watched the beginning of my get ready with me you'll notice that my hair is so much tighter than it is now and it's only been like maybe an hour or two so my hair drops really fast and that does help it keep the style a little bit longer plus like I feel like with blowouts and all of that sort of stuff like especially if you're doing kind of like a curly or blowout um, and like pinning it and sectioning it, it does get a little bit frizzy just in the process of like all the sectioning and all of that sort of stuff for me. I don't know why, maybe because my sectioning is not that great, but I feel like this helps me like keep it all in, under control a little bit better. Okay. Um, the next thing in here that's for sure a one-off, the Tula Skincare Primer. Now I really liked this. Why are we not focusing? Okay, so the Tula Primer, this stuff, I really liked it at the beginning. I think there's a little bit left. No, it got, it went all weird. Okay, um, I really liked it for a while, but I feel like it creates a barrier between my skin, whereas the Hydro Grip, given that it's like, supposed to, like the Hydro Grip really like grabs the makeup but this like the makeup slides across so it looks really nice especially if you have like larger pores like I do but it doesn't lock the makeup in as well as I want it to so yeah that got to the end and then I was just like it's got to go okay the next one off is the Kerastase Resistance Fondant Extensionist um creatine R and acid malic um, length strengthening conditioner. It's this one. There's another blue one, but it doesn't have this like silver line. This is the silver line one that I have. This makes my hair feel amazing. Um, and I think I really need to figure out how to get a larger size because I have quite a bit of length, as you guys can tell. Um, my hair goes to like below where my bra strap sits um, on my back. Kerastase, I've been using Kerastase on and off for years. This particular line, I have a big shampoo as well, which has some water in it as I tried. These are the same, like the shampoo and conditioner together. Um, I feel like the shampoo doesn't clean my hair as well as I need it to, considering how oily my scalp is. But if you didn't have as oily of a scalp, this stuff is so nice. It makes your hair feel so nice. And like this, 
as a conditioner, especially if you have long hair like I do and you use heat on your hair a lot, like I blow dry my hair every time I wash it, like this, I promise, it's really good. It's expensive, but it's good. I love this. I can't say enough good things about this. Just the way it makes my hair feel so nice. Okay, contact solution, not a part of the Sephora sale, but this is the contact solution I use. Um, and there's only one in here because I switched to dailies. So I just use it every once in a while. Okay. We have two of the um, Necessaire body lotions. I really like these. These are great kind of like you're in a rush body lotion. Again, like texture is something that's like really important to me. I find that if I like get out of the shower and I know that I'm gonna be putting on a moisturizer that leaves me feeling sticky for like a long time after I can't get myself to use it in the winter when I need to put on pants immediately or like tights immediately I hate how that feels this I feel like is better for that so I have the larger size of this they just release like a value size in my cart with a pump for the Sephora sale so I'm probably gonna pick that up. It's not the most, most moisturizing of things, of moisture, of body moisturizers. However, it gets the job done. And especially for like my upper body and like my legs during the day, like after I shower in the morning, it gets me to moisturize in the morning and that's what's important. At night I can do something heavier when I'm like at home and can walk around in shorts or like loose pants or something, but Definitely during the day, I need something that I can like use and put pants on like almost immediately. I don't have time to wait. And I honest, and I often don't do my makeup during the day if I'm going out because I'm not doing anything of worth for the face. So I don't really, I don't really want to like, I don't have the time to spend usually because I get ready like right at the end. Um, but I don't really have that like built in like 15 minutes of like sitting or something for to absorbent you know anyways next thing is a face cleanser this is the tatcha the deep cleanse i love this this is the value size it's 300 millimeters it takes me about a year to finish one of these i leave it in my shower and i shower like once or twice a day so you know it, it gets good good use um and I just love this one. I don't know what it is about it, but it doesn't, it like, it has a little bit of exfoliation, which I find helps because I don't really use any other exfoliant on my face. My skin doesn't really like exfoliators. So that being like a little gentle everyday one is great. It doesn't leave my skin feeling dry. It takes off my makeup and it just like, I don't know. I really like Tatcha skincare. I have migrated to a lot of summer Fridays. I think that's just really more on like price point i feel like for me like the summer friday stuff really works um but it's not quite at the same price point as tatcha is but i do love tatcha stuff and this tatcha cleanser is something that i repurchased and if they bring back the value size i will pop that into my cart no questions asked okay not a sephora product but i love this the burt's bees radiance body lotion with royal jelly it has the most amazing scent in my opinion and the little bit of shimmer is really nice it's not a silver shimmer it's like a white pearlescence and it just looks really nice on the skin but it's really hard to find in canada so yeah okay mm. the next thing i have the summer friday super amino gel I will probably repurchase this once I finish like the other cleansers that I have running about right now. Um, I really like this for my second step taking off my makeup. It's very gentle and it doesn't leave my skin feeling squeaky so I like to use it after I use a cleansing balm to take off my makeup and then I'll use that as my second cleanse. And it is the kind of like the type of cleanser where if even after I take off all my makeup, I feel like I want, you know, another round just because there's like a little bit left or whatever. If I like have to double cleanse with that, it doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped and dry, but it does get the job done and I really like it. I know they changed the packaging, but because obviously this is the one here that is my like makeup remover and I don't often wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, 
and I'm more likely to wear makeup in the city. This one doesn't get a lot of mileage, but it is great. I really like it. Okay. Um, the next is the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Mask. This is a mini that I got in a set with the hair oil and the perfume. I like the oil. I have the oil downtown. I have the hair perfume downtown as well, but I kept this here at my parents' house just because I don't have enough space for everything downtown and I kind of try and keep downtown really lean um, because of just my always going back and forth like with the lack of space I don't want to like I, I have the room here to store it I might as well so anyways that's a long story short I didn't like this at all I didn't feel like it worked it wasn't enough for my hair my hair even though it was a hair mask it's still at the end of it felt it felt worse it felt like dry and straw like using that I don't know why it just didn't work for my hair type I don't think so I'm not going to be repurchasing that. Another random thing is just this ingrown hair solution. Um, I got it, I get it from Wax, or I used to get it from Wax On. I don't know, they switch brands, but finish this up. Um, even if you shave, I would recommend using it on your legs and stuff as well, like even if you don't get waxed, um, because one, it helps prevent ingrowns, but also it kind of leaves your skin feeling really nice after. So. Yeah, kind of a random thing there. Next is a little of the Bum Bum Body Scrub. Again, this was like a little mini that came in a set somewhere. I love how this smells. Um, and I really like this. I love how it smells in the summer. And I like because it's a little oily in the summer. If you like exfoliate it and then shave, it works really well. But then you're still left with a little bit of oil. Like I said, the texture thing, but really in the winter, it would make more sense because it leaves like oil behind, but I love using that in the summer. But yeah, love that. I will probably get more um, if I ever get tired of my necessary exfoliator. Um, the next is the Way Fine to Medium Hair Mask. This is the second one of these that I've used. I'm probably not going to repurchase this because I like my Kerastase conditioner so much. I'd rather just spend the money on that. Um, these are great. I do feel like personally the way stuff leaves my hair feeling a little bit weighed down. Um, and it's a bit heavy, but I think if you have more dry hair than I do, more processed and more color, like more damaged hair, these are great. They're really heavy duty and I feel like they leave my hair feeling less weighed down than like the Moroccan oil, macadamia oil ones that were super popular back in the day um but it's you know it's more acting than the geezy one in my opinion okay next is the necessaire the body serum i have two of these one old packaging one new packaging i really like this as a like I don't want to fully moisturize, but I still want to moisturize. It's not as heavy as any sort of body lotion at all, but it dries down really, really quickly. And that's why I like it. Um, I especially love using this on my upper body when I'm in a rush. And I feel like it's not enough for my legs, but definitely for like my arms and stuff for some reason. I think this is good. Um, I'm not going to repurchase it yet. I have a ton of like body creams and stuff to work my way through but I did really like this next talk about the exfoliator um by necessaire I really like this I feel like this is just the perfect sort of exfoliator it's a combination of a physical and chemical exfoliant which on my body I really like and it always leaves my skin feeling so nice and like smooth but like everything it doesn't leave me feeling like dry and like scratchy and stuff like that after okay um the next is a cactus the cactus water by freck this is the um toner that i leave downtown now i really like this toner um but i also really like the charlotte tilbury glow screen so that's the one that kind of travels with me but I have this one downtown just in case um I ever need it as a backup or like I just don't want to bring 
something back and forth. I love this stuff. It is so great. It's so gentle. Um, I just have been feeling a little bit more dry recently, which is why I've been leaning more towards the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Screen. Sorry, not the, the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner. What are you called? Ah, no, I'm really, yeah, the Glow Toner, which I have a mini of here. I just feel like this is a little bit more hydrating. And I think with the traveling and the fact that Greece wasn't super humid in places, I really needed the extra hydration. So that's why I've been reaching for this guy more. But yeah, this was a mini from Italy last year. And then I took it with me to San Fran twice, I think. And there was a ton in here. This was actually pretty good. So I feel like even though it's such a small mini, I really feel like it was good value for me. Okay, the next is gonna be no surprise, the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is maybe my third or fourth bottle of this. I really like it. I'm working through a mini right now. Um, I have a fresh big guy, I think in the back. So I need to pull that out, but I was gonna finish the mini first cause it's open and then learn how to refill them. Okay. Uh, I have two of these. I don't know where the second one is. I think it's still probably downstairs somewhere. These are the Jack Black um, Moisture Therapy Lip Balms. If you are the type of person whose lips in the corners get all white and gunky throughout the day, which mine were, and or if your lips peel with certain products, try this. I promise. Um, Tim Talia put me onto it when I was reading her blogs back in the day. And I have so many of these. Um, it's just kind of like a favorite. And even though I have been using the Summer Fridays a little bit more recently, at some point in Greece, because of all of the wind, all of the boat days, the salt, all of that sort of stuff, I switched back to using this and oof, nothing hits quite like this does for me it's really thick um but i just i love it i love it i love it i love it okay um drugstore this is i get this from shoppers this is the versed press restart gentle retinol serum i really love this as like a baby retinol it is very light it's not super drying. I'm not scared to use it every day because it's so gentle. And it's really affordable, like really affordable compared to other retinols. So I would really, really recommend this. They gave, I originally got this in a press, like a PR kit. And then um, I ultimately just started repurchasing it for myself because I really liked it. And I can't recommend this enough. I think it is a great intro retinol or if you are like me where you want just a little bit of retinol and you don't feel like you need a ton of retinol yet this is a great like starter in between sort of thing the next is the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent serum i have this and i have a larger bottle of it somewhere probably downtown um i really like this however it's a bit sticky and i feel like i have to add another product with it like i usually use it in combination with my summer fridays dream oasis serum which i have three of so it's not bad necessarily but i feel like it works best with something else layered on top of it um so it's okay it's affordable i am just personally trying to look at a combo that has fewer steps because i just don't want to be like putting so many different things and buying so many different things and mixing so many different things, you know? That's just me personally. The next is obviously a fan favorite of mine, which is the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Serum. I forget how long I've been collecting these minis, at least a year, because I go through one of these every three months, I wanna say, four months. So yeah, I have my fourth. So I think it's like one of one every three months I go through these. Um, and I use it morning and night on nights that I'm not using retinol, which is why I kind of go through it so fast. This is just one of my favorite serums. It is so comfortable. It's nice and moisturizing. It doesn't leave me feeling oily. It doesn't leave me feeling greasy. 
it just makes my skin look so nice now i don't really use a ton of like brightening stuff i don't use a ton of anti-aging stuff i don't use a ton of like targeted concern things except for hydration and what i've really noticed in my skin is that as soon as i cut out like the vitamin c and the like pore like the salicylic acids and all of that sort of stuff and just focused on keeping my skin barrier happy i had a massive improvement in my skin and that's kind of what got me here today is the focus on my skin barrier versus focused on concern it was like i was treating the micro level problem when there was a macro level problem and once i fixed the macro level problem the micro level problems went away now that's not saying that i don't need to maybe consider starting some anti-aging stuff however at a dinner party before thanksgiving canadian thanksgiving um one of my family friends was like yeah like don't you do botox like everybody does botox and i'm like no i don't and he thought i did because my forehead is so smooth still so i'm gonna take that as a compliment and that i don't need to start anti-aging stuff right now but that doesn't mean that you don't have to do a little bit of preventative which is what the retinol that i use like the gentle retinols i use is for but yeah. okay next is the tatcha kiss you lip mask I am halfway through my third one of these, I think fourth one of these, and I am, I've got a, another one in my cart just in case. I really, really like this. Um, I'm a little bit, kind of a little bit off of it right now because I have re-fallen in love with my Jack Black mask. However, these are great to keep, at, I keep it at my bedside table and I just, every night, every morning whatever I need it it's perfect it's great I love it it's it's so comfortable and it is one of those lip masks that I feel like I can apply it once in the morning and then so long as it has enough time to sink in a little bit um throughout the day my lips still feel very comfortable yeah okay another I'm sure not shocking product at all if you guys have followed my channel for a while the summer fridays cloud dew this is my favorite like day-to-day -day moisturizer i also used up my charlotte tilbury magic cream so i need to get a refill on that this is like my summer slash shoulder season uh cream and the charlotte tilbury magic cream is what i use in the winter it's a little bit heavier it's a little bit more thick but together these two do what they need to do for my skin this is just moisturizing enough for the summer where I feel comfortable, but I don't feel like I have so much product on and the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream really helps my combination, like my cheeks and in these like fine lines and stuff, it gets really dry and tight feeling. That really helps with that. Okay. Um, next, the Blink Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. I have used Blink mascaras forever since I started wearing makeup this is the mascara that I always go back to not the ultra volume tubing mascara I feel like this is a bit heavy I like the amplified one but they're currently all sold out on Sephora so I hope they bring them back for the sale fingers crossed um but they're great tubing mascaras are my absolute favorite I tend to get the raccoon eye underneath and this obviously doesn't give me that it's super easy to take off it's waterproof and I can't say enough good things about the Blink brands. The only issue I have with the Ultra Volume is it's a bit too heavy. And for me with naturally very straight lashes, the Ultra Volume works really well for me when I have a, like a fresh lash lift. But if I'm just curling my lashes with a like lash curler, it doesn't, that doesn't hold the curl, it just drops. So it it's not practical for a day to day. The next two things I have are the Grande Lash Peptide Lash Enhancing Serum and the um, Leave-In Lash Conditioner. These are okay in my opinion. I think for me personally on lash serums, Latisse is still the lash serum that I kind of compare every other lash to. And that's just me, but Latisse is really difficult to get. You have to have a prescription from your dermatologist or your GP or something. And like, frankly, I would do it, but my GP is like very old school and she would be like, why do you need it? Why do you want it? Like your lashes are beautiful. Don't do it. 
And I'd be like, Dr. Dr. Gwen, you are right. Um, and I know that she's right, but it's like a stupid vanity thing that I would like full thick curly lashes kind of all the time. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's too much hassle for me for like, you know, like the cost, like the cost benefit analysis isn't enough for me to like really go out of my way to get it. So if there is a like over the counter lash serum that you guys feel like works as well as Latisse does, please let me know. Cause I would love to give it a shot because one getting lash lifts is kind of expensive Two, they're not great for your eye and your eye area. So I can't, like can't bring myself to get it like on a regular basis. And I would just love to have a little bit of curl and hold to my lashes and maybe end up with spider lashes. You know, that's a great side effect, but yeah. Anyways, that is everything I have empty to talk to you guys about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and stay tuned for the next video.